Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is amazing because we are going to combine the Hugging Face Spaces, Hugging Face Google Fran T5 Base LLM model, Fast API with Docker. So basically a Fast API inside Docker using this LLM model to create something which will be hosted on the hugging face spaces. So let's see at the end of this video what we are going to create. We will going to create this fast API application which is having this open API docs and here if I go let's close this ask is a get route where I can try it out and I'll just translate this to German how old are you I'll click on execute and this will execute on my hugging face spaces you can see this is hugging face spaces hosting this application right there and finally we are getting this result we can verify just say translate this is a Google translate and it says how are you great exciting things really powerful and yes all the source code will be provided for this spaces the hugging face spaces check the description let's now begin so the very first thing we need to do is obviously logging into the hugging face i already logged in you can see my profile sarthak sevi and i will go on the spaces so click on the spaces you will land on this kind of page where all the public spaces are available basically the app people have built and shared okay now it's your time because you can also create the new application and host it on the spaces the hugging face spaces so click on the create new space give the name of your application so i'll say google flan with uh, fast api simple so fast api google flan license i can choose mit you can choose anyone and the special thing is we are going to use the docker so click on the docker and choose the blank page because we are going to start from scratch okay now what's the hardware we are going to use obviously we will going to use the free version but if you have money and you can afford these then you can try these out these are really fast and you will save a lot of time for this tutorial going with the free tier and i'm going to make it public so that you can try it out click on create a space and this is just like a github repository if you are familiar with git github repositories it's exactly same here we have a way to clone this repository using git as i said it's exactly the github repository but i'm going to use the ssh if you are using ssh make sure to add your ssh public key here on this thing okay so i already have this right here which you can see and i'm going to use that so i can just copy this thing to clone this this line okay and then i will go on my terminal and i'll say hey git clone whatever the path is okay let's now run this thing and this is going to clone the repository in my local machine once done cd into google flan fast api open this with vs code boom so this just have two files which is git ignore and readme file and you can see all these files in the file section so you can see at the top if you see app files community setting so we need to get into the files here is the file you can directly upload the file by obviously pulling it and dragging dop and create new file directly from here but it's really better to start from scratch from your local you can try it out okay since this is going to be a, a docker thing so i'm going to start with a docker file so docker file and inside this since i'm going to use the fast api i need a python image so i'll use the python 3.10 slim version okay and then i'm going to copy everything from here to slash app so this is what I'm going to say like work dir is app and then obviously once we have everything then I'm going to run pip install recurring for requirements.txt now you'll say where is the requirements.txt we are going to create this very soon but finally we need to run a command called cmd as fast api run 
and we want this to reload every time we change anything in our app.py which we are going to create very soon and also we need to provide a host which is 0.0.0.0, .0 and the port is extremely important you know why because if you go on the hugging face at the bottom it says app port must listen on 7860 great so we have provided it now it's time to create the requirements.txt and the app.py file so let's start with app.py and also requirements.txt this is going to be a fast api thing so the very first thing we need is fast api and uv icon and that's it for now next is from fast api inside the app.py import fast api create a new instance of fast api like this and obviously create a route for get requests to prove that yes it's working fine you can name it anything i have named it home and returning simple hello world but hello bit fumes okay so our first api is working now let's run this docker container by using docker run i'm going to name this as fast api port obviously need to define as uh, what's that port name uh, sorry number is 7860 and 7860 and the image uh, image we have not defined we have not created so first we need to build and build x as fast api hugging face and then i'm going to say hey build from the dot that means the current directory and find the docker file so yes it's going to create it and uh, you can see it's pulling 3.10 slim installing the requirements which is just fast api for now and uh, once this is done then we will going to create a new container using this image so i can copy this run command for the docker and once this is done you can see it's really created we can say hey the image i'm using is fast api hugging face okay so it says uh, port is like p and yes it's done so let's open this in our server and yes you can see fast api is working now since the fast api is working we can go to the docs because it provide the open api documentation great this is the default one but we are interested in using this google flan t5 base model and to use this model we can use the transformers so just like this it's very very easy we need the transformers to be installed so go to the requirements.txt add the transformers and here copy this thing go to the app.py and create something like this once this is done let's create another route i'll say app dot get on ask you can name it anything once again i'm going to give ask and here is the prompt which is going to be the string and then i'm going to say we already have the pipe here so i'm going to use this pipe result result is equal to pipe with i have defined everything like here next is just providing the prompt once done then i'll say result and give me the first item from this result okay so this is done but as we have made changes in our requirements.txt file we need to create our um, image once again so that it will take the advantage of this so let's kill this and i'll say docker build once again and this is going to once again going to start installing from the requirements.txt because we have changed that thing and it's going to be first done very easily okay that's once again done let's run this container and now it says it's already there 
container is already running so we say container where is the container fast api here is the fast api container so docker remove container fast api and we can force it okay that's done and let's run it and now you can see since we are using this hugging face pipeline thing then it says hey you need the tensorflow or pytorch to be installed so let's install the pytorch so how we install the pytorch so let's say pytorch and it's actually given here so either one so tensorflow or pytorch so let's click on the pytorch and click on get started on this it says hey there is a pip thing and we need these two packages to be installed okay one more time so go with this and this great now we need one more building of the image so building the image every time we have uh, we add any package on the requirements.txt we need to add uh, create the new image because that's how it will get the fresh packages on the image so once this is done then we are going to create the new container okay so after 96 second it is done and let's run the container one more time and it says hey you already have the container remember we need to remove the container and run it once again and yes the container is started okay so now server is running let's open this here and you can see now we have another one for ask let's try it out and i'm going to use the translate trans translate thing so which i copied obviously once again from here so let's click on execute and this is going to take a little bit of time but it's very fast now you can see it says this is the translate of how old are you let's try it out on the google translate and how old are you which is absolutely perfect answer so we have successfully created the container we have successfully created the application everything is there great now is the time to push these things to our spaces which we are working on so right now files is just have git ignore and readme so what i'm going to do uh, i think it doesn't have the git ignore but no worries we don't want to ignore anything so i'll go here and i say hey um, add or maybe i say use hugging face models a simple model okay so that's done and i'm going to hit the git push now since the docker file is in the root of our application it's very important to see that it is started building by default as we have pushed on our hugging face repository it's using this docker file to create the container and we can check the log by clicking here you can see it's doing exactly same thing which we have said that hey it's going to be work directory and then it's downloading anything it required you can click on this app to see the final result so right now it's building once done then it will say running on this place instead of building and then we will be able to interact with the application directly from the hugging face spaces now at this point we are getting error error is for permission denied so the docker file need to be updated with the correct permission first of all i'm going to create new user so i'll say run user add new user you can name it anything i name it new user change the user so new user is here and obviously i need to define some environments so i'll define these two environments which is like home is home slash user let's call it user instead of new user to be at the same pace so this is good now work directory need to be dollar home slash app and this also going to be dollar home slash app but when you copy we need to 
add the permission so we need to simply say choun for the user and that's the only thing we need so these three four steps is going to provide the correct permission for this uh, for this uh, app directory okay so let's once again commit with defining uh, defining the permissions and push it once again and this is going to do all the magic we want okay once again we need to wait for this to complete congratulations you can see our application is running state and you can see we have this hello bit fumes because this is the home page and on this container log we can see it's running on port 7860 everything is there hmm that's good but how i can use this ask or maybe just the docs because there is no way to write any url okay for that you need to go on this top side here is three dot after the setting click on that and you will see that embed this space this thing will only be visible when you are having your space as publicly defined private one will not have embedding thing okay now you have this direct url so click on this direct url boom we have this and now we can try the docs here we have the docs this means we can simply try it out by providing translate to german how are you once again click on execute and this is taking time and this proved that he has it's working sometime taking time is also a good thing and finally we are getting the result generated text is here so this is how you can actually going to uh, have all your uh, models and uh, this ai things llm things on the hugging face spaces which is really great so if you have learned anything from this video please go and click on the subscribe button and hit that like button so that i will get the motivation to create more videos just like this if you have any question related to this video or any other video just comment below i'll surely going to reply see you in the next video till then see you goodbye